So the other day, I met up with some folks at a restaurant in Logan Square called El Habanero. It's a nice place, nice folks who run it, really great food. They're kind of known for this sandwich called pambazo. That's a type of torta that's made with a bread roll that's had a guajillo chili sauce kind of cooked right into its crust. They do a great job there. We had a great time. I really like that place. Also, if you're one of the people that said hi to me while I was there, thank you. Uh, please make yourself known in the comments. But while I was sitting at that table, I got obsessed with this. Uh, El, El Habanero has two table salsas. One is a fairly standard salsa verde. It's good. And this, their salsa rojo, consisting of roasted tomatoes with chili peppers, lots of garlic, and a little bit of oregano. The tomatoes are roasted hard giving up most of their moisture. And then the whole mess is pureed into something that has a texture that's more like a tomato paste or a bean spread than uh, what you would typically think of as a salsa. I couldn't stop eating this stuff. And I brought some of it home with me because I had thoughts. I want to try recreating it. But more than that, right away, I want to make a sandwich with it. So let's call this another leftovers sandwich starting with leftover Polish sourdough from my recent Osipex Grilla video, which I've spread on both sides with some thick salsa roja from El Habanero. That salsa has a strong garlicky bite and some pungent herbaceous notes from the oregano, but overall leans very strongly into savory territory, which I thought would go well with this leftover Mississippi pot roast. Now, if you're not familiar with Mississippi pot roast, it may not sound very appealing to you once I explain it. The recipe popped up online about 10 or 11 years ago. I don't remember exactly how or when or who did it originally. It's a classic example of American culinary laziness. Or to be more charitable, evidence of the fact that our overworked existence gives us no time to do very human things like cook. To make a Mississippi pot roast, you put a two and a half or three pound chuck roast into a slow cooker, dump a packet of powdered au jus gravy mix, a packet of powdered ranch dressing mix, a stick of butter, and half a jar of pepperoncini peppers along with their brine on top of it. Then you turn the cooker on low and leave it alone for eight hours. The result is a fatty, beefy, salty, slightly spicy, super savory mess of shredded meat that you can serve with pasta, a salad, bundled in bread, or piled over mashed potatoes. It's simple and crass and far better than it has any right to be. I thought about using fresh mozzarella and taking this sandwich in more of a pizza-y direction, but I had some Havarti on hand, and in the spirit of the leftover sandwich, a cheese in the hand is worth two in the bodega. So you know how people will tell you that you should use mayonnaise instead of butter when you're making a grilled cheese sandwich or a melt? For this sandwich, I used tum instead. It's essentially a mayonnaise where raw garlic is used as an emulsifier instead of raw egg. Yes, I doubled down on garlic. I did a video about tomb a while back, and while I still prefer homemade, the good news is that my wife found a decent commercial version. The bad news is that she found it at Aldi, so it may never be seen again. Now, garlic tends to burn easily, so I did get this sandwich a bit on the dark side, but look at that. This is an umami bomb, but the pungent garlic the bit of spice from the salsa, the slight sweetness and acidity left in those roasted tomatoes. They're enough to make it more than a one note sandwich. This is, oh man, uh, I'm gonna need a minute guys.